Hi, in this video I will talk about uh, the Divorce Surah In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful So family structure is very important for, for safety and peace in society And it's, it's uh, one of the short surahs with 12 verses And starting with the divorce Oh, you prophet And you people divorce the women you shall ensure that a divorce interim is fulfilled. You shall measure such an interim precisely. It means you cannot interpret it, or you cannot increase or decrease it. You shall reverence God your Lord. Do not evict them from their homes, nor shall you make life miserable for them. To force them to live on their own, unless they commit a proven adultery. The proven adultery is important, and in the other verses, you can see this, the definition of proven adultery. It is related to witnesses, so it shows consistency in the Quran. So if the proven adultery is not mentioned, then you can ask how it's about the witnesses and and the evidence. It's not a suspicion. It's not a seeing tax or something. It's it's like being absolutely sure. These are the God's laws. Anyone who transgresses God's laws commits an injustice against himself. You never know. Maybe God wills something good to come out of this. It's like you you may wait and do not waste your investment on female. So female and male investing a lot to each other. Law, money, financial things and time, experience. You cannot just end this easily. It is not a good word, good thing. So you should keep this and wait and may you may change your mind. The divorce she is entering before so it's not part of the uh, verse before becoming eligible for remarriage is waiting period for three menstruations. This ensures that the divorcee wasn't pregnant. But this is not all about menstruations. It's there are tests that can show it. It's also about psychological situation. They may change their mind later. And also if they break up and they may find someone wrong again. So they should wait to think carefully, not to think with their hormones, to think with their brain. Once the interim is fulfilled, you may reconcile with them equitably or go through with the separation equitably. You shall have two equitable witnesses witness the divorce before God. This is to enlighten those who believe in God and the last day. Anyone who reverences God, he will create an exit for him. This is important. God says that God will create an exit. So because teach people who are reading this uh, probably suffering from the marital issues, so he will create an exit for him. So the divorce can be exit for him, or being together can be a solution for them. And will provide for him once he never expected. Anyone who trusts in God, he suffices him. God's commands are done. God has decreed for everything is faith. If they are worrying about the relationship problems, it is a uh, suffering to them. So they shouldn't worry about it. They should trust God. They should believe in God. Then everything will be fine. As for the woman who have reached menopause, if you have doves, their interim shall be three months. As for those who do not menstruate and discover that they are pregnant, their interim ends upon giving birth. Anyone who reverences God, he makes everything easy for him. This is God's command that he sends down to you. Anyone who reverences God, he remits his sins and rewards him generously. You shall allow them to live in the same home in which they lived with you, and do not make visible life miserable for them that they live on their own. So it's not like you shouldn't uh, show your anger openly. If they are pregnant, you shall spend on them until they give birth. If they nurse the infant, you shall pay them on their service. So we see that there is no alimony in the Quran. There is no lifetime giving for the expenses of women. You shall maintain the amicable relations among you. If you disagree, you may hire another woman to nurse the child. So this is important that nursing child Nursing child is important, and uh, uh, and this is uh, the the period is very important that the, the child should be nursed, 
and they hire, they should pay if necessary, because this is important for their health. So this verse includes a solid advice. The rich husband shall provide support in accordance with his means, and the poor shall provide according to the means that God bestowed upon him. God doesn't impose on any soul more than he has given it. God will provide ease after difficulty. So this is important, but it doesn't mean like super rich. In, in Islam, we know that there's no, there's not a lot. I mean, being rich meaning like owning a lot of uh, compulsively, like owning like a gold or something. It's not like that. Uh, but the having a lot of power, maybe. So we should understand it in the context of the crown, the rich. Many a community rebelled against the commands of his lord and against his messenger. Consequently, we held them strictly accountable and recorded them terrible requital. They suffered the consequences of their decisions, a profound loss. God harps prepared for them severe retribution. Therefore, you shall reverence God, all you will possess intelligence and believe. God has sent down to you a message. A messenger will recite to you God's revelations clearly to let those who believe and work righteousness out of the darkness and to the night. And no, so, and no one who believes in God and led a righteous life, he will admit them into gardens with flowing streams. They abide therein forever. God will generously liberate them. So here, a very important thing is darkness into the light. And which surah mentions the light most and related to the relationship and chastity it is the light surah and we see that a lot of mentions of light it's like referring and also there is there's maybe possibly there's a similar words defining heaven in this light surah so we can check the light surah or i don't know we don't have to check maybe so so and uh, we recite to you God's revelations, and the, it is mentioning the light surah is also mentioning reciting God, is somehow reminding you of the surah. God created seven universes and the same number of earths. The command flow among them. This is to let you know that God is omnipotent, and that God is fully aware of all things. Let's see, uh, let's see the, or just to see the. Uh, the website and the light surah. Light nor. So this is uh, that there is no Quran yet. So we should see the Quran, and it must be the name must be light. Yes. Um, heaven. God is the light of heavens and earth. So and. Uh, He knows, so it's a similar end of it. It's possesses. So this is like uh, created seven universes in the same surah. We see that flowing streams. I'm curious if it is mentioned in this uh, flow heaven. So that mentioning the glorifying God, there are similarities, but uh, I think the the hell. So, so I'm seeing a verse that mentioning also the so this adultery. So this is do you see that the light surah is mentioning and starting with and similar to this. So anyway, it is a, the, important to see that they're thematically similar verses. Uh, so. This is uh, still there. There is a mention of heaven, uh, so it's okay. So it's fine. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and hope to see you in the next video. And God knows better.